And we're here in Clearwater, Florida at the Rib Fest, the first annual. This is a community event, and follow me as we check it out. Hi, this is Be Your Passion, and we're here with Courtney. And Courtney, what's the name of your? Uh, the Great White Family Barbecue. And he's one of the contestants for the Rib Fest. Um, is this a passion of yours? Yes, ma'am, since I was a little boy. So you've been barbecuing under your grandfather, dad? I'm a cook by profession, but I started doing barbecue by a hobby, and now I'm trying to turn it into more of a business. But I'm, I, I work in a restaurant, and this is something I do on the side, and it's just a passion, something I like to do. Trying to, trying to take it global. <laughs> trying to take it global, yes ma'am. And how long have you been doing this again? I just started probably for about six months as far as professionally with the grill, but I've been cooking for over 10 years. So are you located anywhere or anywhere would you would like? like catering, but um, coming soon. Yes, ma'am. You heard it from Corey. He said it's coming soon. Thank you, and we good luck, Corey. I am here with Clifford. That's me. And is this a passion of yours? Yes. Uh, how long have you had this passion? Cooking. Last, last night. <laughs> last night. It, it, it's in the making. It's in the making. Yes. And and he's a contestant as well. You want to elaborate a little bit on how to like? Already. Uh, yeah, I'm the one already. Yeah, I tasted it. I, I already know. Could you tell us why you decided to participate in this? This is the first annual, the first yeah, time? it's going to be the first thing. Okay. Uh, you got to move over this way a little bit. Okay. You can stay right in the shade while I'm taking this stuff out. Okay. Um, it, it, it's about time that the community has something where they can all come together and, you know, socialize, mix it up, feel safe, and, and start this thing. Maybe it'll be an ongoing thing, not just to stay annually, but something where people can relax and feel safe you know, right, every day. You know what I mean? That's how it used to be. You know, still want to be a nice place to live. And, you know, with certain elements, you know, in play, it made it sort of difficult to leave your windows open, your doors unlocked, your cars unlocked, windows down, and this kind of thing, even walking down the sidewalk. But uh, with this kind of thing going on, I think it, you know, it, it, it could bring some positive effects. Yeah, it's a good start. And, and our, the chief of police, on time. On time. On time. And that guy right there, I just walked by, Wilt Lee. Sergeant Lee? Sergeant Lee. Yes, Wilt Lee, Sergeant Police. Okay. Yeah, he, he, he's, he's one of the organizers, spearheaded. And uh, Wayman and, and uh, O'Neill Lockins and uh, Icy Gully. So, you know, it, it's a good company. So, Clifford, could you just tell us about this event? Because we just. We actually just getting here. I know I spoke with Mr. Neil 
briefly yesterday. So if you can elaborate a little bit more on why you, the community decided to put this together or the city officials. Time. You know, people, people are tired of, of being tired. And that's it. And with, with some, of the, some of the things that, that uh, the, the chief has been in, in putting, uh, well, actually, he's been implementing some, some, some programs within the police department that part of the community. And we've got um, Sergeant Lee is actually he's been put in a position of, uh, I think, the community liaison for the police department. And uh, that, that's a good thing because Will is from Clearwater, and uh, he, he's an excellent guy. And it's about time. It's about time. You know, I, I can reiterate, you know, a, about the need for this kind of thing in, this, in the city, but there's no need. Everybody knows it. You see how the people are happy. It, it's, it's, you know what I mean? You don't smell any weed in the air. You know what I mean? You don't see people staggering around drunk. It, you know what I mean? And, you know, uh, you know what I mean? And it's no idiocy. You know what I mean? You don't see, you, you see people actually having a good time, even in the heat, they're having a good time. So this is one of the projects that they decide to take and put under their wings to roll out today. And it's going to it's gonna expand. They've, they've got some plans of doing some other things too and, and incorporate along with this. Okay. And uh, I think it's going to be a good thing. As you can see, you know, Eddie Johnson's got his race cars down here and you're talking about a million dollars worth of race cars. Oh. Easy. Yeah, so I mean, we, have to know, check you got, we got that kind of support, and people are coming and, and put their wares on sale. And man, this is a good thing. This is, yes, this is Sounds a good thing. Like it. It it is, really this does. is really a beautiful thing. And, and, um, and all the people that's coming out to support it. This is a good thing. Yeah, it is. And, and, and it, it wasn't a whole lot of publicity. I think it was more word of mouth mm -hmm. because, <laughs> you know, because certain, um, I don't know, uh, maybe. If this thing would have been marketed a little better, but with a budget, you can only do so much. But then it just, man, you see it just jumped in. Man, this is, this is beautiful. I love this. I love this. This is where I'm from. I'm, I'm from Clearwater. I'm a native Floridian and native Clearwaterian. <laughs> <laughs> and you speak with so much passion for your community. Well, I, it's, it's about time. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm old enough to uh, know some things, but I'm young enough to want to be here a lot longer. So I, I like to walk the street, uh, uh, you know, say hello, speak to people. And because a lot of these people, you know, you don't know because we've been shut in for so long. But now it's time to know your neighbors. And I think we need to pick that concept up. It's called Know Your Neighbors. And uh, I think it's going to be a good thing. I like that. Know your neighbors. Yeah, I just, I just yeah, did that. Yeah, yeah you did. <laughs> I'm going to run with it, too. So, Clifford, we thank you. We'll be coming back to check out your food. And good luck. Look here. I don't need it. No, I don't need it. I don't need it. No, no, no. And I, I got, I got some sauce nobody has. So, move. Secret sauce. yeah, nobody has that. Go look around. You won't see nothing look like that. Ooh. <laughs>
at 3 o'clock in the morning Hi, I'm here with Blue Border Real Fest winner. This is their first annual this year. So Irvin, could you tell us about your passion and things that you're passionate about and this, um, this trophy you're holding up here, sir? Well, I just came out uh, to enjoy the festivities and Mr. Larkins came to me and asked me if I wanted to be in it. And I told him, I said, I don't really do competitions, but uh, if it's for the community, I, then I'm all for it. Because this, this is basically a hobby, and I enjoy it, and that's why I do it. Well, Irvin, could you tell us what made you the winner? What is that secret recipe? Is, was it the spice, or is it the season, or is it a combination of both? I, I think it maybe it's a combination of both. Combination. Yeah, yeah, seasoning, and which is a secret. Right. Everything is a secret. I, they, they all keep telling me it's a secret. Basically, basically, yeah. Has it yeah. been down through the years with the family, or this is something that you came up with? No, it's, it's basically a family, uh, family thing. Yeah, family. Big Earth's family. Family. Yeah, family. Family. Matter of fact, like matter, like matter of fact, I'm gonna give you some of that pound cake we made too. Let oh, you check it out. Homemade. Oh, yes. All right. We do a little bit of everything, you know. Okay. Sounds good, sounds good, sounds good. Would you like to say something his better half? Because you're probably the, the spice oh, yeah, that make the spice. Without, without a doubt, without a doubt, she is barbecue. part of it. A big part of it. Yes, barbecue has been a habit for him. Mm -hmm. He's always barbecued. But um, after 2010, after we lost our son, the passion became even stronger. And um, everybody loved his barbecue. Mm -hmm. So this event was pretty much special for the community and for you guys to participate in it. Yes. Exactly. Yes. I'm always involved. As a matter of fact, I coached Little League football for a while, about 10 years. So I'm, I'm, I'm always uh, involved in things in the community. Giving back. Giving back? That's right. Exactly. Give That's back to our kids. Kids are the future. Yes. They are our future. Yes. That's correct. Most certainly is. And we feel honored and blessed to be a first place winner. Yes for the first 100th anniversary. We'd like to say congratulations and glad that you guys um, came out to participate and have a wonderful day. Number is actually Irwin. special recipe and why you came in third? I can't really tell you about the special recipe because it won't be special no more. Nobody won't tell me that secret. Why not? I might want to go home and try it. Yeah. I, won't, I won't tell anybody. I can send you some home. I can get you a little bowl or something and put it wrap it up. Could you tell me how long you've been barbecuing? For about six years. Six, seven years. Six or seven years? Okay. What made you participate in this year? Well, our homeboy, he worked for the city, and he found out about it, so he set us up for an entry fee. Okay. Mm hmm Okay. So, could you tell me some of the things that you're passionate about? Because this show is about Be Your Passion. So, I'd like to know some of the things that you're passionate about. Hmm. What I'm passionate about? Hmm, I don't know. What you like doing? What did you Cooking feel? Is cool. Cooking is cool. Yeah, yeah. So you when you make people smile and they get that yummy, yummy in their tummy, that's passion. that's passion. Yeah, that's passion, but what do you feel that you are here for? I mean, what did you say when you was young? You said, I really, I wanted to do, what, what you wanted to be when you, you grew up? An architect? Yeah. So you're passionate about architecture? Drawing, stuff see? like that, yeah. Uh -huh. See, that's what I need to hear. Okay, okay. So why are you passionate about drawing, an architect? Mm -hmm. Because I can have something in my mind, draw it up, uh -huh. and then if you can build it and make it, into being, uh -huh. that's past too. That's past. Yes, that's, that's past. See, that's what we need to know. That's what my viewers need to know. We need to know about the things that make your passion, that make that heart beat. All right. So that drawing. Yes, ma'am. So could you tell me about today? Are you having fun? Yeah, this is a good community event right here. It was a nice turnout. Yeah. Okay, so could you want to tell us the name um, of your of the company and where you located? Or do you have a location? Oh, what turn around then? What is it? Baby boys, barbecue. barbecue. Baby boys. It used to be P's mobile barbecue. Okay. Because we mobile. Oh, okay. But 
We still mobile. Okay, so you still mobile. So you don't have a station. Right, right. Location. You, you, yeah. Okay. But you can find us anywhere in Pinellas County. Anywhere. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Well, we like to thank you. Like it was a nice you, interview. <laughs> they they set me up for this, but it worked out all right. <laughs>
because uh, with Isaac Gully and Wilt Lee and, and, and Raymond Pilson, Waymond Pilson, to bring four people together with two months and do this, and you look back at it, we did this in two months. Wow. And I think what touched me most when we asked all the vendors to come in and tell them the rules, our rules and regulations, and, and for the first time, I sat and listened to people talk about me. You know, and one of the gentlemen said, you know, when Mr. O'Neill asks you to do something, you can't help but do it because I think about what he do for others. So, you know, that's, that's it's not something I'm going to jump off the Sunshine Skyway about. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but uh, it's something that I appreciate from uh, people who believe in me that I'm not necessarily capable of moving a mountain, but I believe with my faith I can. And uh, it's just to surround yourself with positive people who do positive things. And, you know, people interview me all the time, but I love to talk. I, I, I love to give points. People come to me for points. But I learned early in my life that if you fall and a person that to pick you up cannot tie a knot in the rope for you to hold on to it, then they're not your friend. So I learned right. that a long time right. ago. So I kind of socialize with people who know how to tie a knot on the rope in case I got fall, I got something to hold on to. <laughs> so that may sound crazy, but that's just something I learned. You know, we take things for granted. Feed your passion. Your passion. <laughs> Thank you, ladies, and you have a great day. Thank you so much. I'm here with Eddie, and Eddie, could you tell us about these wonderful, beautiful cars of yours? Well, actually, these is what they call a drag car. Okay, we drag race. Okay, so we go all over Georgia, state of Florida, racing. And how long have you been doing this, Eddie? Ever since I was like, what, 13 years old. And I kind of growed into it and growed up with it. So this is, is this a passion of yours? Yeah, my very first passion. Your very first passion. You got some more passions? Uh, fishing. Fishing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so with these cars, did you put these cars together yourself? Yeah, or actually, this car was bought out what they call a body in white. You know, you don't get nothing. It's never been on the streets. Can we walk with it and, and you show, tell us about it? Yeah. Well, actually, a body in white is just the fenders, the, you know, the roof, and the quarters. Okay. So the front bumper, the hood, all the glass is add-on. Okay. This car never been licensed, never been tagged for a street car. Okay, it was bought as a body in white. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we, you know, like made the front bumper for the twin turbo. Mm -hmm. We installed the engine. It's got what they call a three speed Lanco drive transmission, you know, with a nine inch rear end. So we like UC cars for grudge racing, the red car here. Uh, because this is all foreign to me, because I, but you, you, you're educating me now with this. So, do you have drivers, or are you still driving? No, I was quit driving. I have uh, Chris. You want to talk to Chris? He's my driver, the one with the gray shirt on there. Uh huh. Okay. So we just like you know family. Okay. Yeah, we you know kind of do it, but Chris is the driver. And where do you guys race? Like uh, where? Georgia, Florida. Alabama, anywhere they have an uh, outlaw race at, that's where we go. You not only can build the car, but you used to race? Yeah, used drive, to drive. Right? Yeah, I used, you to, used drive. to drive. The car. You're right. And I was known in the streets as fast Eddie. And how long did you drive? Uh, up until, you know, about a few years ago. Oh, you're a bad boy, huh? Oh, yeah. You hear, you hear Luther back there. You're a bad boy. Yeah, I'm a bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> Fast Eddie, okay. Well, we would like to speak with one of your drivers. Oh, can I drive? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Well, let me drive this. Yeah, I mean, if you can think you can get it started. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't no touring key and, you know, through this. Everything is like wet, wet, like computer. Like a computer. Okay, right. I want to see that in there. I mean, the that's amazing. This is my first time being up here. Oh. Okay, well, this is like electronics, uh -huh. what they call the MSD. Okay, this is what we call the inner cooler. Mm -hmm. Okay, we put ice in this. This is the ice chest. Is it like dry ice or just regular no, ice? No, regular ice you get. Oh, okay. okay. we put the, the ice in here. Uh-huh. Okay, so what it do, it got a water pump. That pump, and this is what they call the cold tube. Uh-huh. So everything circulate, circulate mm -hmm. through the cold tube. It's keep the engine cold. Okay? So it got twin turbos on turbos on they run off the exhaust. Wow. Okay, so the more, uh, ex, you know, the mm -hmm. temperature is, the car be a boost, okay. what they call boost with a turbo car. And this car make like 42 pounds of boost. Okay, that's about uh, 3,000 horsepower. All right, you Oh, it's like, oh, okay, alrighty. See, y'all ain't playing with it. This serious. Right, and you know, in most of uh, the races we do, we have to use what they call a street tie, is a drag radio, no wheeler bars. Okay. So, you know, actually these is like finesse cars. This definitely looks finesse. <laughs> Straight it up. Yeah. Can I sit in it? Sure. You want either one. Okay. I'm not going to hurt myself, am I? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, whoa. Oh, you, you, oh, that looks serious. Yeah, I got to climb over there. That's easy. If I got to climb all over there, that, that's okay. That's okay, Eddie. That, that looks like a workout. No. <laughs> that's serious. That looks like a workout. I'm trusting with I'm trusting you with, with this like you tr and you trusting me with your car. Right, okay. <laughs> I just anticipate on this. I don't even know after I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know where to start to get in here. How do you get in? <laughs> <laughs> how, how do I get in here? Wait, actually you got you could back in. Back in? Yeah, back in. You were halfway in. I was yeah. halfway in? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. I hope I can get out. <laughs> yeah, you can get out. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Oh, wow. Yeah, you're in. There you go. Uh, if I knew I was going to have these, I would have had these shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 